Hi guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to do another short video about an incredibly important Unix tool called cat and what it can do with hidden characters. So if we go to the man cat page, we can see that the actual full name of the command is called concatenate. And traditionally you would pass it multiple files and it would print them all out one after the other. However, primarily nowadays it's used just to print out individual files to the terminal quickly so you can see the contents of them. However, it has some fantastic um, extra options that can go with it to make it incredibly powerful with finding hidden characters within your files. The V, T, and E option. And the way that I remember this is cat vet. So what do I mean? If I just clear the screen, in this folder we have two files, one called beetle, which I'll talk about in a second, and one called sample text.txt. What I'm going to do is use cat to just print out the contents of sample text.txt. There's some text in there. Brilliant. However, what we're not seeing are the hidden characters. So if I just clear the screen and do cat dash v e t, so dash vet, and I remember this as cat the animal goes to the vet, okay? Cat vet space the same text. We'll see something a little bit different. New line characters have been displayed as dollar signed, and tabs here. Um, indents have also been displayed to us. And also the V option will display other characters that aren't actually included in this file. So let me clear the screen. I want you to imagine now a scenario where you're programming something and you've copied a line or so off of the internet and pasted it into your code base. It looks exactly how it should and visibly there is nothing wrong to you but for some reason it's not compiling. This has happened to me a couple of times Enough for me to go and find out about the cat vet option. Let me show you with a demo what I mean. So we already saw that cat vet um, displays hidden characters like new lines and indents, but it also displays other horrible characters in the code that might cause compilation errors, for example. And what we're going to do now is, again, I'll show you the beetle and sample text. I'm going to copy the sample text file to be sample text.copy. Okay, so we got two of the sample text. And what I'm going to use now is this tool called Beetle, which is a bash script that somebody created on GitHub. I'll link to it in the description down below. That takes a file and screws it up on purpose or cures it, depending on what command you give it. Screws it up on purpose. It'll stick in all of those horrible hidden characters that you can't see traditionally and don't display normally without asking to be displayed on purpose. So let me show you. At the moment, that's uh, how our file sample text looks at the moment. If I do the beetle command with the sting, not string, sting parameter and give it my file, it will say successfully stung this file. Now, if I just clear the screen and show you cat.vet uh, my file, you'll see all of these horrible, horrible um, hidden characters that have been put into it. But look, if I just cat without the vet, the, f the file, it looks absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong with it because they're hidden characters. We can't see them. So cat-vet, any file will show you those hidden characters that you might need to be wary of. So if you've got a file that looks for all intents and purposes as though it should work, run it through cat with the V, E, and T parameters and see what's really hidden inside your file. Thanks for watching. See you next time.